So there's a company called EF, which means Education First, and they do a study called the English Proficiency Index, or EPI. So it's called the EF EPI. And it ranks countries around the world by English proficiency. And the most recent one came out in 2021. And they used 2 million people around the world who took a test. And they used that data to calculate which country had the highest English proficiency around the world. And we're going to go through the top 10 countries. And I'll tell you one cool fact about each country as it pertains to their English speaking. But the report had a few conclusions, which we'll go through first. So the first one is that exports and gross national income and innovation all correlate positively with English proficiency. The second one, English proficiency levels are evolving at different rates in different countries, including a few countries with declining English skills. So some countries are actually getting worse at English, while other countries are improving at different rates. And the third conclusion, Europe has the highest proficiency in English, while the Middle East averages the lowest. And that's why you'll see on this list, nine out of 10 of them are European countries. Um, so see if you can guess what is the only non-European country on the list. And also they, they don't measure um, English speaking countries where English is the native language. So, so like the UK or Canada, or the United States are not included because they already speak English natively. So the number one country is Netherlands. So let me just read this interesting fact. In the Netherlands, the English language can be spoken by the vast majority of the population, with estimates of English proficiency reaching anywhere from 90% to 93% of the Dutch population. Number two is Austria. English is very widely taught and spoken in Austria, with around 73% of the population being able to converse in English to some level. Number three is Denmark. The small proportion of the population who cannot speak English is probably restricted to the very oldest part of the population, who perhaps may not have learnt so much in school. Virtually all young people will be proficient. Number four, Singapore. That's the, uh, the only non-European country. So in Singapore, English is a working language that serves the economy and development and is associated with the broader global community. Mean meanwhile, the rest are mother tongues that are associated with the country's culture. So Singapore, number four. Number five, Norway. All school children are taught English from around the age of six, right through the rest of their schooling years. And so are competent when they reach adulthood. Many of them also learn second languages, such as German, French, and Spanish. Okay, number six, Belgium. On the EF English Proficiency Index, Belgium ranked five out of 35 European countries measured. Belgium is a multilingual nation, and the citizens speak many languages, including French, German, and Dutch. Okay, and then we have Portugal. Um, Portugal at number seven. According to estimates, anything between a quarter and a third of Portuguese people can speak English, which is considerably higher than in neighboring countries like Spain and Italy. Number eight. 
Number eight, Sweden. High fluency rates in English is very common across all of Scandinavia and boils down to two basic influences, the depth and quality of the teaching of English in schools and the influences of English speaking media in the form of TV and films. Number nine, Finland. English has been taught in Finnish schools for a very long time now, so most people, except the very oldest generations, will be able to speak it to some degree, many of them very fluently. And number 10, Croatia. English is fairly widely spoken in Croatia, with over half the population having some kind of grasp of English. English speakers are especially common in major cities and tourist regions, especially along the coastline. So those were the top 10 countries in the EF, English Proficiency Index, for 2021. Netherlands, Austria, Denmark, Singapore, Norway, Belgium, Portugal, Sweden, Finland, Croatia. You can look up the uh, entire list to see where your country ranks. And uh, actually, I'll post a picture of it right here. This is the entire list. So where is your country? Let me know in the comments what country you come from and where they rank in the EF English Proficiency Index.